be celebrated nationwide in October. This is the most important of all Nepali celebrations and includes the biggest animal sacrifice of the year. The is celebrated in November. Other festivals include the Holi and Chaitra Desa. Some Hindu festivals are the Hari Bhadini, Ekadashi, Maha Sivaratri, and the Krishna Jayanti. to Sri Lanka, we may often hear the word Ayurvavan. This word means may you have the gift of your life. It is with this traditional greeting that everyone is welcome to Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka has many nicknames, so in Silo, dear drop of India, bro of the Indian Ocean, etc. These names reveal the richness and beauty of this island nation. Many travelers from ancient mariners and merchants to modern astronauts have been attracted by the beauty of this island. Sri Lanka is located in the Indian Ocean just of the southeastern coast of India. Shaped like a teardrop, the island of Sri Lanka measures about 415 kilometers from north to south and about 220 kilometers from east to west with a total land area of about 65,600 square kilometers. It has more than 1,340 kilometers of coastline. Despite its modest size, Sri Lanka has a population of about 20 million. Sri Lanka is a multi religious, multi racial, and multi lingual country. The four major ethnic groups are Sinhalese, Sri Lanka. And Sri Lankan, Moors, or Muslims. A fifth group, the Vedas, are the original inhabitants of the island. But the most important word on Lankan origin is related in Mahabamsa. Sri Lanka's economy has traditionally been based on agriculture. The emphasis is on exporting crops such as tea, rubber, and coconuts. In fact, Sri Lanka is the largest tea exporter of the world. The country is also a major producer and supplier of a variety of spices such as cinnamon, cardamom, pepper, cloves. Cinnamon first originated in Sri Lanka and was introduced later to the world by the Arab merchants. Sri Lanka's archaeological treasures reflect the civilizations of the past that covered the golden age of Greece, the Roman Empire, Maya citizens, and Napoleonic greatness. The culture that followed those glorious paths has been enriched by the more recent influences of Western colonizers and Eastern traders that resulted in developing a unique mix of races and religions, arts and crafts, festivals and costumes available in a small country. Besides this and eight riches, what we find God-given blessings of nature in Sri Lanka. The island is blessed with Asia, seas, sandy beaches, green hills, cascading waterfalls, abundant wildlife, and a variety of flowers and fruits. The country abounds with gold 
of Sri Lanka. The Golden City is today surrounded by monasteries covering an area of over 16 square miles. The city is also significant in Hindu legend as the capital of King Ravana. Kuntala National Park. Kuntala National Park is one of Sri Lanka's leading destinations for bird watchers. Is also home to large populations of elephants, crocodiles, turtles, and leopards. The Kutua, coral reef, and sandy beaches. The Kutua is a little town on the south coast of Sri Lanka. It is well known for its beach and corals. It is principally a tourist destination and serves as a great beach with options to surf, snorkel, and enjoy the sun. Tabula. Major attractions of this city include the biggest and greatest modern cave temple complex of Sri Lanka. It is also famous for the Rangiri Dambura Global Stadium, which was built in just 167 days. The city also close to have the biggest snows peak range in South Asia and the Iron Wood Forest. Lesson 3. The Maldives. The Republic of Maldives is an island country in the Indian Ocean. It has 1,001. Into 26 major atolls. An atoll is a ring shaped coral reef on a strip of closely spaced coral islands. The natural coral reefs of Maldives, surrounded by lagoons, make each island stand out as a pearl in the Indian Ocean. The Maldives stand at eighth position amongst the smallest countries of the world. Only. It is the smallest Asian country with respect to population and size. People have been living on the islands of the Maldives from as long as 3,000 years ago. They set sail from different parts of the world, Asia, Arabia, Europe, and the Americas to come to these islands. Settlers of the Maldives were probably from southern India and Sri Lanka who came to these islands in the 4th and 5th centuries BC. In the 12th century AD, sailors from East Africa and Arab countries came to the Maldives. As a result, the Maldivians who were originally Buddhist were converted to Sunni Islam in the mid 12th century. In 1344, Ibn Battuta, a famous Arab historian and scholar, traveled around the Maldives. In the 16th century, the Portuguese conquered the Maldives and they ruled the country for 15 years. An independent Islamic subject for most of its history from 1153 to 1968. The Maldives was a British colony from 1887 to 1965. Following independence from Britain in 1964, the subject continued to operate for another three years. It was abolished and replaced by Republic, and the country assumed its present name. The Maldives is famous as a tourist destination because of its enjoyable weather, heavenly beaches and lagoons, luxurious holiday resorts, and the peace loving people. Being an island country, it enjoys the pleasant weather throughout the year. The Maldives has been ranked as the best country brand for beach, rest, and relaxation in 2008. The same year, it was 
Thank <laughs> you. 